up, 11, 10, 26, 15, 112, 150, 46, 68, 53, 81. No other finishes, 1 minute 15.39 seconds, 61.02 miles per hour. And away they go again then, race 33. Neville Tatum goes wide, Trevor Banks still on the inside, front wheel in the air, he's going forward, Trevor Banks makes it. Neville Tatum in second place. Neville Tatum going right round the outside of Trevor Banks, I never thought I'd see today anybody go right round the outside of Trevor Banks. Trevor comes back at him. Neville Tatum then. Making a big fight for it. Trevor Banks comes through again and Trevor misses front wheel in front. Neville going for it now. Neville takes it back over again. Trevor loses a few yards. Trevor gets up on the inside. He's going for it. He means it. He's taking it. He's back up in front. And here comes Neville. Look at this. There's a bit of bloody elastic between the two boys. Every time we get stretched on, they pick past each other. 24. Neville taking it. Look for the banks on the last lap. And round they come there to Trevor's head again. And he goes through. Can Trevor hold it on to the last lap? Never seems to be enough to take the final line. Trevor's cut his right side. Here comes Trevor Banks. Trevor wins. Trevor Banks. Oh, Tom Cooper getting in there. Oh, I'm not going to say a word. That's going to be the tightest finish of the afternoon. Oh. Oh, that score has gone home. She won't make a decision on that one. <laughs> It was a cracking race, race 33. All to go down in the history books, really. Race 33, a win for the Evergreen. Number three, Trevor Banks. Two weeks older than me, you know. <laughs> in second place was number 153, Tom Cooper. In third place, number 24, Neville Tatum. In fourth place was number 711, Darren Pugh. Fifth place was number 12, Daniel Winterton. Sixth place was number 189, Rob Snow. Seventh place was number 69, Chris White. Eighth place, number 13, Rob Watts. And ninth place, number 137, Richard Cooper. No tenth finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 14.94 seconds with an average speed of 61.39 miles per hour. From the top, 3, 153, 24, 711, 12, 189, 69, 13, 137, 1 minute 14.94 seconds, 61.39 miles per hour. Uh, just sitting here reminiscing with my mate Mr Clark and I just said that uh, I packed up racing 20 years ago. Trevor was in his prime then and winning and 20 years later he's still winning. I've uh, got back now. From number four, Rob Tipping up into second place, another man who hasn't ridden for 24 years. Last road of 250cc Paul Tarver, before that a 500 champion, before that a 250cc. Somebody doesn't ask anybody who's related to him. 174, Robin Borcher goes. Number 4, Rob Tibbet in second place. What a turn up for the books. The postman from Tunbridge. 
Richard Humphreys. No other finishes. The winner's time of 1 minute 20.69 seconds, returning an average speed of 57.01 miles per hour. From the top, 174, 4, 14, 126, 45, and 27. 1 minute 20.69 seconds, 57.01 miles per hour.
Here they come in, the right-handers, and three away, comes in the lead. Three away, pounds it up that straight. That's Barry, and no, I don't know what is Barry and Tim Warren, because they keep changing their numbers about. That's Tim Warren and uh, Jim Nuts. I'm going to catch them up, going so well early this afternoon. No, these points don't matter. They're making points, don't matter. Three oh eight leads. Tim Warren and G Nux. Three oh eight, one three oh six. Jim Warren from Mark Warren, the Warren Bulls, first and second. Oh, and over he goes. Mark Warren has tipped over. Rider and passenger both down at the moment. Let's hope that they are just uh, winded. need a rerun of that one and uh, let's hope those two boys are all right they'd look a bit winded There's a trick I haven't seen run for a long time, but uh, the uh, piggyback trick. As they're both in the same camp, I suppose that's the sort of thing you might expect to see. When they're not in the same camp, you might not. Well, a bit of a sorry, sorry moment in grass track history, really. Um, some young whippersnappers have uh, been trying to pinch sweeties from the grass store. Not the sort of... Uh, conduct we expect here at grass track and uh, please parents keep your kids under control i mean stealing from anybody is bad but stealing from a charity and the people that are trying to do some good for the sport really doesn't go down very well so uh, if it's your little nipper sort him out will you here they come then a right hand side guys dave stewart makes it to the front Gary Palmer goes in, and Lewis Cook's there as well. Dave Steer leading. Gary Palmer in second place. Lewis Cook in third. Steve Maitland in fourth. Robinson Mark Sharak in fifth as he comes on to the centre green. Round they come then. Dave Steer. Dave Steer, Simon Leading. Gary and Craig Larmeter. Then Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. And 88, Steve Maitland and Carl Bell. <laughs> Round the turn, bus starting to fly. Bill Thill would see that after the rain we had last week. Dave Steer leads it. Chasing hard down that back straight, he aims for the inside. They come through, goes to their corner, and Lewis Cook touches as they go through. Flat out, and here they come, Lewis Cook gets the second. Steve Maitland completes race distance. Race 
37, right hand side cars. Race 37, right hand side cars. A win for number 17, Dave Steer and Simon Beanie. Second place, number 18, Gary and Craig Parmenter. Third place, number 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. And fourth place, number 88, Steve Maven and Carl Bell. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 28.24 seconds. An average speed of 59.77 miles per hour. From the top 17, 18, 748 and 88. 1 minute 28.24 seconds, 49.77 miles per hour. Lewis Cook being relegated from the second place that he finished in to third for an unfair overtake on the last turn. Demoted. Put back a place to me. Demoted. So it's 17, 18, 7, 4, 8, 88, 1 minute 28.24, 59.77. There's a young lady on the opposite side of the field, I don't know if you can hear me through the speakers or not, but you are in a prohibited area, love. You're lovely to look at, but you know, you're just in the wrong place. Well, the game in number nine, Miles Simmons leads. Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan lead. Bob, Ivor Atkins, and Big Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Oh, look at Ivor comes through here like nobody in business. And Ivor says we'll have some of that as he leads this one. He won the Salisbury Sizzler yesterday. Can he make it the double by taking this one today? Ivor Matthews, Mick Stace, and half distance from Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Miles Simmons doesn't seem to have any uh, answer to that at all. And then it's one eight before John Hiscock's on the wall. One more lap to go. Little battle coming up here between John Hiscock and Wayne Westaway. Takes the win from Miles Simmons in second place. That is uh, Peter Lloyd, John Hiscock, Wayne Westaway, and Steve Smith. Race 38, uh, race 38, right hand side cars, a win for number 15, Ivan Matthews and Mick Stace. In second place, number 9, Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. In third place, number 44, Peter Lloyd and Terry Madley. In fourth place, number 184, John Hiscock and Simon Wall. In fifth place, number 118, Wayne Westerway and Mark Courtney. And in sixth place, number 121, Steve Smith and Dave Williams. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.84 seconds. <coughs> An average speed of 60.72 miles per hour. CC solos and the right hand side cars. There are B finals for those events, and the winner of those B finals will join the rest in the A final. There is one place left blank in the uh, program, or should be, for those A finals. And here they come. Only two in this one. Duncan Tullis, who placed the race's members, the race of the main race. No Ryan Partridge, it does leave two. 
Duncan Thomas leading those two full right and giving a run for his money. Duncan Thomas twice set the fastest time of the day earlier. Although I think that time has now been beaten. The train getting faster as the day goes on. Jones chasing hard in second place. Making a race of it. Duncan Tullison on the last lap from Paul Whiteman. And in comes Paul Whiteman, very hard, right up on the back wheel of Duncan Tullis, and they chase out of that last turn, but it's Duncan Tullis and Nicky Owner takes it from Paul Whiteman and Kev Jones in second. One more race and it's interval time. Time for an ice cream. Race 39. A win for number 74, Duncan Tullis and Nicky Owen. Second place to 92, Paul Whiteham and Kev Jones. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 26.81 seconds. A speed of 60.04 miles per hour. From the top, 74, 92. 1 minute 26.81, 60.04 miles per hour. Right-hand side cars, Will Ovid makes the start. Will Ovid comes through from the outside. Shuts the door on Will Ovid. Round the turn, here comes Neil Owen. six seconds, an average speed of 56.25 miles per hour. if they can win that B of going into the A. Of course, there's going to be a bit of a tall order for them. Here's the fact that 
that one. We'll try and get Dennis to give them an extra two minutes to get their breath back. Round they come then. Gary and Craig Harmon, a one lap to do. While Simmons and Dave Hogan in hot pursuit in second place. Turn for the last time. Lovely corner there from Gary and Craig Carpenter. As they take the checkered flag, they go into the A final. Paul Sewers and Dave Hogan get a second chance, second and reprieve into the B. The last race apparently was 60. Oh, four. 60. Oh, four. Oh, four. Here they come then. No chance to give you the rest of the runners in there, but the ball off. Now good, next corner. Nice and certain, second place, Tom Cooper going wide. Tom Cooper very wide, and the high wide and handsome, but he goes into the heat. Paul Dockley's up in the second place. Well, that's Alvin, here they come, up the back straight. And Tom Cooper leading. Tom Cooper is. From Paul Noss. From Darren Pugh, from Martin Sturgeon. From Bradley Kite, Mark Giles, Daniel Richardson. One five three, Tom Cooper, twenty nine, Paul Knox, seven one one, Darren Pugh, fifteen, Martin Sturgeon, four nine five, Bradley Kite, and a right ding dong battle there with Mark Giles. cc solo b final race 40 the 500 cc solo b final a win there for 153 tom cooper second 29 paul knot third 711 darren Pugh. fourth 495 bradley kite fifth 112 dyford evans sixth number 15 martin sturgeon seventh number 12 daniel winterton Eighth, number 26, Mark Giles. The winner's time was 1 minute 54.45 seconds, a speed of 61.65 miles per hour. The riders make their way from the pit gate. We personally slowed it down a little bit there for Miles Simmons to get his breath back, and he is, of course, the first man to the line. He's now got to do it the hard way if he wants to go in the A final. He wants to be the Scintillator 600 champion for 2004. This is a very, very hard way to do it.
It was number 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. In third place, and number 9, Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. In fourth place, number 184, John Hiscock and Simon Moore. In fifth place, number 118, Wayne Westerway and Mark Courtney. And in sixth place, number 44, Peter Lloyd and Terry Manley. The winner's time was 2 minutes 07.51 seconds and a speed of 60. 0.13 miles per hour. So, race 47, the last race of the afternoon. Please add in 92 for Whiteland and Kev Jones. 92, the last rider in on the right hand side car final. We now have the 350cc solo final. Between 16, Bob Dolman. 11, Paul Cooper. Last year's winner, I hasten to add. Then 139, David Mears. Always a good contender here at most places meeting. Then it's 51, Matt Hetherington, 82, Chris Still, 76, Adrian Phipps, 37, Michael Peters, 48, Brian Cornelius. Reserve of required is 61, Steve Higgins. Let's rise, here they come, up the first straight. It's the battle of the big ones in the 350 class, and that's all the Outside. Right close cut, both years go flying, Red Dolman's first on the inside, here they come. Red Dolman, Paul Cooper, <coughs> and David Mears. Can Paul Cooper hold on to this 350 title? He won it last year, he's down all the way from Yorkshire, and I can tell you he means business, and look at him go. He's going to be down, number one, number three. Red Dolman is right on top, he's going to be right on top. 
and a speed of 60.17 miles per hour.
race 43, the left-hand side cast. Race 43, the left-hand side cast. A win for 1, 2, 3, Billy Penfold and Carl Bell. Second place to 1.1, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Third place to number 8, Paul Grayson and Chris Berry. Fourth place to number 34, Steve Dowling and Tim Mount. Fifth place to number 2, Kevin Penfold and Blair Taylor. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 27.78 seconds, a speed of 52.41 miles per hour. From the top, 1, 2, 3, 1, 5, 1. 8, 34 and 2, 1 minute 27.78, 52.41. And he's chasing after Gary Wells in this one. Gary Wells leads Paul Simmons in second place. Alex Millen up in third there. Going well here this afternoon. The young man from Marden. Give it a move forward in the 250 miles. Yeah. We already slides out. That's bad luck for Alex Millen. He was doing so well there. 70. Gary Wells leads from Paul Simmons in second place. And it's number 21, Mr. May, and then 65, Mr. Natasha Barth, and then uh, another Mr. May. I never can get all those names out in one game. And Yvonne O'Brien bringing up the rear there. Around they come then. Last lap to make it out. It's number 70, Gary Wells. Well clear of 31, Paul Simmons. Who knows he can't be beat on points. As long as he holds that second place. That is 21, Mr. May, then 65, Natasha Barnett. And around the last third for the last time, 70, Gary Wells takes it from 31, Paul Simmons. His first beating of the afternoon. And it's 21, 65, 198, 261, 126, and 28. A win for number 70. Gary Wells. Second place, number 31, Paul Simmons. Third place, number 21, Robert May. Fourth place, number 65, Natasha Bartlett. Fifth place, number 198, Kevin Ball. Sixth place, number 261, Paul May. Seventh, number 126, Kevin Taylor. Eighth, number 28, Chris May. Ninth, number 41, Yvonne O'Brien. The winner's time was 1 minute 21.68 seconds, an average speed of 56.32 miles per hour. Race 44, 70, 31, 21, 65, 198, 261, 126, 28, 41. Winner's time, 1 minute 21.68 seconds, 56.32 miles per hour.
Oof, on the front line there is uh, John Jordan still a little more and Robin Wilkes and that's the back of it. Robin Wilkes and Robin Wilkes in second place. 174, Robin Wilkes 46, John Jordan 14. Richard Barnett 44, Keith Cornell, then Rob Snow, then Michael Tuckey, then uh, Ryan Cornelius and Rob Tipping bringing up the rear. Made the final in the first move of the bank. He's doing very well. Slowed up on that turn a little bit. Can John Yeldon find the extra momentum needed? It's 174 from 46. 46 is we drifted rather wide. And on they go. Around this turn, 174. I've been fortunate. Just two laps to go. From 46, John Yeldon. 14, Richard Barfitt, 44, Keith Cornell, then Rob Snow, Michael Tucky, Brian Cornelius and Rob Tipping. Around they come in, the last left flag is out, Robin Wilcher seems to have it in the bag. Upright engine to machines, it's the final, John Yeldon in second. Then Richard Barber, Keith Cornell, Rob Snow, Michael Tucky, Brian Cornelius and Rob Tipping. There goes the chicken flag, it's one little more, Robin Bertrand takes it. John Yeldon finishes second. Keith Cornell in third, then 14 Richard Barber, 189 Rob Snow, 141 Michael Tucky, 48 Brian Cornelius and number four, Rob Tipping. Bringing up the rear. The solo upright final was a classic win for number 174, Robin Pilcher. In second place was 46, John Yeldon. In third place it was 44, Keith Cornell. In fourth place, it was number 14, Richard Bartlett. And in fifth place, number 189, Rob Snow. In sixth place, it was number 141, Michael Tappy. In seventh place, 48, Brian Cornelius. And in eighth place, number four, Rob Tipping. The winner's time was 2 minutes 06.77 seconds, an average speed of 55.65 miles per hour. One seven four, forty six, forty four, forty, one eight nine, one four one, forty eight, four, two minutes. 06.77 seconds and 55.65 miles per hour. Race 46, the very serious big one, the 200 pound cash prize. Who's going to have it? Will it be the man or the men? Because there's two of them on top points. 11 Paul Cooper or 25? Martin Williams. Will it be 6, Jeremy Doncaster? Will it be 24? Neville Nathan. Will it be three, Trevor Banks? Will it be ten, Dave Rumsey, 73, Julian Fisk, or 153, coming in from that big final, Tom Cooper? They're on the line. The start is hard to clear the way, and they go down the first row, Dave Rumsey makes the start, but uh, that looks like Trevor Banks. Yesterday, he's in front tonight. But Jeremy Doncaster goes through. Jeremy Doncaster picks it up. Around the turn they go then. And it's Jeremy Doncaster from Trevor Banks. And look at that. Cooper goes right up underneath and he goes through. Jeremy Doncaster slows up. Where Banks goes around the outside. It's there. And then here. Cooper goes through. Jeremy Doncaster 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 goes through. And Neville Tatum has gone down to the back end. And round they come then. We have it down, Paul Cooper. We have three, Trevor Banks. Six, Jeremy Doncaster. Seven to three, Julian Pitts. Dave Rumsey, Paul Turner, and Tom Cooper. Martin Williams. And Neville Tatum. Fast track racing, it's live, you can't fiddle it. He's on a four-four bar. 
Bob Grooms from Ames, Bob Shirley Doncaster, Julian Phipps, Dave Brunsey, Tom Cooper, Martin Williams, Neville Tater. The last flat flag comes out, Paul Cooper, who is way out in front. He's doing the big guns here this afternoon, and Paul Cooper takes that last flat flag. From Philip Banks in second, who looks to see what Jeremy Doncaster is, and he's in a third position. And it's Dave Brunsey, this is Tom Cooper, Martin Williams, and Neville Tater. Takes it. He hangs on to that title of the Cinderella 600 winner. Fairbanks comes in second. Jeremy Doncaster third. Dave Rumsey a good fourth for him. Julian Phipps. Tom Cooper. Martin Williams. And Neville Tater. Wow, what a day's racing. And we've still got the big sidecar to go. 11. Paul Cooper. One in now, two years running. Can he come back and do it a third time next year? In second place, the Evergreen. Two weeks older than me, you know. Number three, Trevor Banks. In third place, number six, Jeremy Doncaster. In fourth place, number ten, Dave Rumsey. In fifth place, number one, five, three, Tom Cooper. In sixth place, 73, Julian Phipps. In seventh place, 25, Martin Williams. In eighth place, number 24, Neville Tatum. The winner's time was 1 minute 53.71 seconds with an average speed of 62.05 miles per hour. Now, after this race, ladies and gentlemen, after this race, ladies and gentlemen, would you help me? Would you lift the ropes off and just wiggle the stakes loose? Leave the stakes in the upright position. Don't pull them out of the ground. Just wiggle them loose. Take the rope off. Wiggle the stakes loose. Every one of them you do is one that our small band of helpers this evening won't have to. A lot of stakes around that circuit. I think if we had a good day's racing, I think you could do that. Though. The bitter is only 150 a pint while stocks last. I know I'm not a bitter drinker, but I tried some of it yesterday and I was very impressed. And uh, a lot of the people here today are saying, cool, that is a good proper stuff. And I believe that, that's why we chose it. Direct from the brewery to here. I can't get any pressure than that. The sidecars are on the line for the 600 foot to make a final and here they come. It's the big one for the sidecars. 92.1 and goes into the lead. Duncan Tollers is in there with him. Duncan Tollers breaks through. Arthur Matthews checks over. The race is being stopped. We'll have to go through it all over again. Who will get the blame for that one, I just don't know. Flat out and round 
their count mids, Paul Wright, the winker, Jones from Duncan Tellers and Nicky Owen from Dave Steele and Simon Beanie. Then Neil Owen and uh, Kevin Colborn. And the uh, especially when I get babbling and uh, just do it by the number. You've got the wrong number on it, the wrong bloke gets the points. The official result of the right-hand side car final was a win for number 92, Paul Wrightham and Kev Jones. In second place was number 74, Duncan Torres and Nicky Owen. In third place was number 17, Dave Steer and Simon Beanie. In fourth place was number 18, Gary and Craig Parmenter. And in fifth place was number four. four, nine, four. Number four was Neil Owen and Kevin Colborn. No sixth finisher. The winner's time was two minutes, 08.45 seconds, with an average speed of 59.69 miles per hour. <laughs> 